Show.co recently released a way that you can build an ad campaign that will run on major music websites to help drive traffic back to either your Spotify, your Apple Music, or your YouTube or SoundCloud profile. And today I'm going to show you how easily you can do this for your own music, and also how much damage $20 will do towards this kind of campaign. Okay, so this is Future Joey checking in and letting you know that I actually had to extend the length of this campaign in order to spend my entire ad budget, and therefore this video will be split into two parts. This first part will walk you through how you can set up your own show.co campaign, and the second video will show you how much $20 will get you as an independent artist using an interactive ad campaign with show.co. Okay, back to my original video. If we haven't met before, my name's Joey Clarkson, and I'm an independent singer-songwriter, voiceover artist, and audiobook narrator living in London, UK with my husband and our two Pomskis. I make videos just like this about the music business and the voiceover world every single week, so if you're interested in learning more about that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on. All right, guys, I'm gonna move the camera, we're gonna switch angles, and I'm gonna start building this campaign. Let's do this. So this is what show.co looks like once you're signed in. You will need to create a profile, but a free one will be just fine for what we're gonna be doing today. You are going to navigate over to the right side of the screen where there's this big red button that says new campaign. You'll click on that and it will take you to this landing page. They've got loads of great campaign options on show.co and you should definitely explore them at another time. But today we're just gonna be focusing on this top one that says new and this is create an interactive ad with your music or video, click on that. Today I'm going to be applying a $20 credit to a Spotify campaign. So I'm going to click Spotify here. They're going to ask me for my Spotify track. And the way I'm gonna find this is by going into Spotify, searching my name, Joey Clarkson, clicking on my profile. It's really easy to find because this is our latest release. I'm going to click one more for the road. Now it's really important you don't use this. This is going to be your album link and that's not what you want you want your song link. So even if it's a single, it's not gonna be these three dots up here because that will take you to the album. You want to go straight to the song itself, click the three dots, navigate to share, and over on the left, and you are going to see Spotify URI. This is what Spotify wants whenever they ask for the URI. So we're gonna click that, bring it back here, and we're gonna paste it straight inside. That'll think a bit and it'll bring us right here. So this is already looking like an ad. It shows us the size options that we have. For some reason, this one's recommended, so we're gonna go with this one today. This is the first time I'm running through this, so this is quite exciting. So this is gonna show people your song in the advert itself, and it's going to allow them to actually click on your song and listen to it from the advert without having to be navigated back to Spotify. If they like your song, or they just choose to click on the advert because they're interested in what you've presented them with, then you get to choose where they are redirected to. So this says the destination URL is a web page, video, audio, or other online content that your audience will access when they click anywhere on your ad image. It is best practice to link to the platform in your ad, but you can link to any URL here. So that's really interesting to know. You can technically link them back to like your website if you wanted to. As we're actually focusing on growing our Spotify right now, I'm actually going to be relinking people to Spotify, but rather than relinking them to just the song itself, I want to relink them to a playlist that I've created. This was a collaboration that we did. So I released this single with my husband, Peter Dixon and our friends Two Ways Home and they're a totally different band. So what I've done is I've created a playlist that has our song at the top and then it's got a mixture of all of our songs throughout the playlist. So I'm gonna copy the playlist link and when people land on this page, they'll be redirected to a place where I have curated the content that they will hear after they listen to our single if they choose to listen to our single. This is just a way for us to like control what they hear next rather than having Spotify decide the song that they're going to hear next. If they listen to the playlist, they'll listen to hopefully, fingers crossed, the next eight songs I've placed in that playlist, which will maybe hook them into our music and get them to actually follow us as well. I don't know, hopefully that works. So moving on, it's going to say you can use a background image. 
I'm not going to use a background image this time, I'm just going to keep it super simple. So I'm going to say choose a background color, which brings me here. Now you can choose by sliding this little thing around. I've mentioned in other videos before, I'm not a graphic designer, so I'm really not great with color palettes and I like it to be easy. Now instead of me just guessing what color goes best with this, I'm actually going to trust the professionals. And what I've done is I've gone back and I found one of the screenshots we shared from our single when it went live on release day of our stream count. And I think this is actually a few days after. This is like day three of our stream count because we definitely didn't get 827 in one day. This is what Spotify has deemed as the color to make our background look nice when it's used with our cover artwork. So I'm going to trust Spotify on this one and I'm using Canva because Canva is free so you can get a free profile on Canva. You import your picture, put it on there, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go over to text, add a heading, you don't even have to type anything, you click on the text, navigate up to the text color and what this does is it takes the colors used in your image to show you the actual color that's in the picture so if you don't have photoshop you don't need anything fancy for this you can just click on the color go up to this here and this will show you the like color hex i don't even know if that's the proper terminology but basically i'm going to go up here and i'm looking for d zero e b d e d zero e b d e and Look at that, fancy that. That has given us the right background color and I am going to click on that as well. And bada bing bada boom. I don't know why I said that. Okay, so header text. I'm gonna say the next road trip anthem. Oh, look, it's starting to pop up there. We got the call to action here. Listen here. And we have the body, which is optional. And I'm going to put, I'm just gonna hashtag one more for the road. Okay, so something I noticed is that up here, my one more for the road isn't quite the right size for this advert. So I'm gonna scroll down and I'm going to change that to about a 12 and see if that changes it. There we go, that looks a bit better. Okay, so here they have some handy guides and tutorials. You have a long list of things you're not allowed to do. I mean, it's pretty basic standard knowledge, but if you're worried your content might actually go against guidelines, I would have a quick read through of that. You have a how-to video tutorial. So if anything was not clear from my video, they've got a great one for you to watch. And you have interactive ad template examples. So you can see that really easily by just changing the advert right here. It could be a nice tall one or here. I don't really like that one at all. So I do like this one best and I'm interested to see if it performs well. So I think we're all done here. That looks really good. We're gonna go next. Campaign name. We're just gonna call this one more for the road Spotify trial. This is just for us. This is not gonna be seen by anybody but us. So we'll be able to recognize it and track it properly. You don't have to worry about the general public seeing this. I'm going to run this from Monday to Wednesday. And I'm going to, you have a minimum ad spend of $20 and I am not rich, so I am going to only use the $20. I am in the country music genre and I am going to only try advertising to United Kingdom. Now you have two different ad placements you can go for. You can go for discovery, which is the most ad placements possible by targeting a large amount of websites with lighter traffic and the lowest CPM rates. For instance, lyrics.com, allmusic.com, and readdork.com. Or you can go with targeted, which is get more ad placements at a very competitive CPM rate by targeting websites with moderate traffic. For instance, LA Weekly or DrowndInSound.com. I would much rather go with targeted, even though it's a bit more. After that, all you have to do is click next. Here's where you get to put a coupon code if you have one. I have one, I think it was October. There we go, I got a $10 discount. Keep your eyes peeled, do a Google search. This discount ended on the day of filming, which was Sunday, October 18th. So it's not gonna work for you, but you might be able to find one somewhere else. And you just fill in your payment information. You can see over here that it is giving me the $10 discount. It comes to $11 because they charge an audit fee. And the audit fee is to pay the people who look at your advert and make sure that it works correctly. So make sure that none of the links are broken and make sure that when this goes live, it's actually going to look the way you want it to look. 
So basically I'm just going to fill out the rest of this payment information on my own and I'm going to click start and then I'm going to go through and I'm going to create the exact same ad but redirecting people back to Apple Music. So it's going to look exactly the same. The only difference being that instead of using the Spotify player and Spotify for my landing page, I'm going to be using the Apple Music player and Apple Music for my landing page. And in three days time, I'm going to sit down right here and we are going to dig into the analytics to see which one performed best and exactly how much $20 or I guess $40 bought me towards promoting my music using this feature on show.co. All right guys, I'll see you in three days. Hey guys, Future Joey back here and just reminding you, like I did at the beginning of this video, that this one is going to be split into two parts because I actually ran into a hiccup with the ad spend budget and how long it actually takes to run your campaign. I made a video about this last week when I discovered that my entire budget wasn't actually spent over the course of the three days I had set aside for this campaign and I outlined why that might be problematic for you. So before your campaign goes live, I would pop over and check out that video. I'll put a link to that up here so you guys can easily check that out. So basically I've gone in and I've extended the length of the campaign from three days to three weeks and I'm hoping that gives me enough time to spend the entire $20 ad budget for both of the campaigns that I have set up to run. Once the campaigns are over and I've had time to sit down and dig into the analytics, you can expect a follow-up video to this one to show you how much damage $20 did and which ad set performed better, the one that used Spotify or the one that used Apple Music. That's it from me today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss the follow-up. And let me know in the comments below if you've ever used show.co for a campaign before and how you found the service. Are you planning on running one of these ads yourself? I would love to hear from you and thanks so much for watching guys. I'm looking forward to getting to know you better.